Hello all, welcome to aurotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about a rolling 12 period report in FRS. So let's see the settings as well as the output which we are expecting. So the output which we are expecting is that it will display a 12 period as well as the data from two icons. This is the output which we are expecting. And what are the POs, POVs we have to select? So there are a couple of things we have to select. So there are from the accounting point of view, right? From the account point of view, there are two record, two accounts I have selected. And and from the other one is the left side is the account and the right side the column is the period we have to we have selected. And at the top we have selected company. Okay. So these are three POVs we have selected. Now coming to the account member selection, what we have done is we have unselected the default one and we have selected only the accounts which are of you know like a 95001, and there is another account which you have selected. And now they have to be displayed as a independent rows. Okay. Now coming to the column selection, where we are displaying the period as a twelve period output. So for this one, we have to select first of all unselect the default one, and you have to select the function tab. And in the function tab, you have to select a range. Once you select the range, it will ask you to mention the start member as well as end member. So in the start member, you have to select relative function. In the relative function, you have to select current point of view for accounting period. And then within that, you have an option called offset, second, where you have to mention the value as minus level. Similarly, for the end members, you have to select only current POV. So this is the setting you have to do it for the period member selection. And now the other one is final thing is like, as we said that we have selected two accounts and we have displayed two rows. And the third one is we want to display the total amount for the two accounts which we selected. For this one, you just insert a formula row and this is how you can insert, click on insert row and formula. and for the first column, you mentioned it as a static text called total. And for the second column, you perform a functionality called summation, sum of parentheses, pair brackets, one colon two. So it will perform the summation of the value. This is the this is the logic for the summation. Now, coming to the very important tip, once your report is designed, once your report is designed, make sure that when you run the report, there are chances it may display a value called hyphen hash missing. If at all it displays, it means that you have not selected the value for your point of view values to the inputs which you have to provide for the POVs at runtime. So majorly, you have to select the input as accounting period in our report. We require a ledger value as well as currency value. You have to select it. Now let us start designing of this particular report now. So I'll just navigate to the Fusion instance. So here, click on Financial Reporting Center. Click on Open Workspace. Click on Tools, click on Launch Financial Reporting Studio. So now the FRS reporting design studio is getting open. Yeah. So now what we do is we'll design the report now. So I'll just click on File, New. So I'll select the folder and I'll say FRS Rollup Demo Report. And you can also mention description. I mentioned the same description and click on save. Now the report is getting saved in this particular FA6, FAS 16 dot student. And the first thing what you have to do is you have to insert the grid. So I'll just click on this particular section and click on insert and click on grid. And then I'll just draw the box, nothing but the grid. So now once grid is drawn, it will open a pop-up wherein you have to select the data source. So I'll go with US chart of account data source and click on OK. So this chart of account depends upon the database connection depends upon the ledger which you which you want to from which you want to get the data. So there are three point of views you have to select which are very mandatory. So the first one is I'll select accounting period and I will drag and drop in the column section. The other one is account I'll drag and drop in the rows point of view and then other one is ledger not ledger company. So I'll select company here and then click on OK. So now, yeah, so always click on save best practice. Now click double click on the account. Now unselect or remove the default logic, default accounts, expand the account here and expand this current account. And also again, expand this T total. And then here also I'll expand net income and I'll select only two things here. 
or maybe a revenues as well as expenses i'll select it and i'll just scroll right i have selected two accounts and also make sure that you display them in independent rows place selection into separate rows so that it will display as a independent rows okay you can expand it a little bit like this you can do it yeah so okay yeah click on save now click on the accounting period so unselect the default logic now you have to click on functions tab in the functions tab you select a range and you have to move to the selected section once you move to the selected section it will open a pop-up it will ask you to mention the start member as well as end member and in the start member click on the start member value and here you have to click on function and here you select a relative member and click on ok and then in the relative member you have to select again click on this lookup selection and here you select current point of view for accounting period and make sure that in the relative member we have selected current point of view accounting period as well as offset as minus 11 so nothing but total 12 periods i want to show in the output and click on ok now this logic is for the purpose for, for the purpose of start member logic and similarly for the end member what we have to do is just click on the pop-up and you simply select current point of view accounting period so nothing but this report will show you 12 periods and click on OK. Again, click on OK. Okay. So till this point of logic, so what it will do is it will simply display that value for 12 periods for these two accounts. We can see the preview. So click on this particular icon, HTML preview. So to have a summation, we just need to insert one record. So let it finish. And once this is done, we can just work on the summation logic. related process maybe for time being we can still what we can do is just click on insert and here you just click on row and formula so now what will happen is it will insert so here we don't want the row at this position so i'll just delete here so what you do is you click on this empty selection here and now click on insert row and formula so that it will it will insert the row after the second row okay so now in this one i'll set it as custom heading so i'll simply mention total and you just click on this icon so that the value will get set and now in the summation you click on some function and then mention the cell numbers so i'll just mention square brackets one colon two and square brackets close and click on this right mark so that the function will get set for this particular cell a3 Yeah, so we got the output as of now. This output without any summation. And here the accounting period was selected. Ledger was selected. That is why you're able to see the output. If at all, if this is not selected, definitely you'll see a hash missing value. Okay. And you can just scroll right and you can see the or uh, this set of 12 periods values. Now we'll see this other one also. If at all, if you want to change some like uh, the formatting and all those things, you can do it. For now, we'll not work on those formatting. I'll reduce the width so that we'll try to get displayed in a better manner okay now click on save and try again preview and you can see the preview from file option also you can click on html preview here also yeah yeah perfect so now we are able to see the value for two accounts and for 12 periods 
and here you observe accounting period was already selected ledger was already selected if at all if they are not selected make sure that you select them now let us say you can change the accounting period you can mention the specific account per accounting period let's say i'll select accounting period so i want the data of data i selected 122 and see what it will display so it will display the previous 11 periods from 122 right january from january 2022 it will display the previous 11 periods so this is the expectation from this particular report okay so in the other sessions the coming session we'll discuss some more functionalities of frs report thank you